Hello, Hello everyone. everyone, my, my name, name is Zareen Karazin. Karazin. I'm, I'm a PhD, PhD student, student at the at University the... of Washington in the S Department of Human-Centered Design and Engineering. Today I'm going to be presenting research done with my advisors and co-authors, Benjamin Mako Hill and Kate Starbird, on governance capture in self-governing communities, a qualitative comparison of the Serbo-Croatian Wikipedias. Some background. Um, for about a decade, at least 2011 to 2020, a small group of far-right editors took over the governance of the Croatian language edition of Wikipedia. This meant that they installed themselves and their allies in administrative positions by rigging local elections, and they systematically started introducing far-right bias, including fascist revisionism about World War II, into the project's article base. They also harassed and stamped out dissenting, dissenting editorial voices on the project. After years of calls from local editors uh, to the foundation to intervene, the situation started getting some media attention. Uh, eventually, through the work of the local editing community, offending, the offending editors on the project were removed. Um, the Wikimedia Foundation published a retrospective assessment of the situation and confirmed that, indeed, this was a case of project capture, where the project's uh, mechanisms of governance were taken over by a few users in powerful administrative roles. The interesting thing about um, the Croatian case is that Serbo-Croatian is a pluricentric language, um, and there are actually four separate language editions. Uh, in addition to the Serbo-Croatian, there's the Serbian, Croatian, and Bosnian. Um, but uh, despite similarities uh, among these language editions, Croatian alone that we know of uh, succumbed to this sort of capture. All of these projects, to some extent, uh, faced vandalism and disinformation campaigns and things that are challenges for all language editions, but none of them quite had the in takeover of the project's entire uh, mechanism of governance that Croatian Wikipedia suffered. So the question that arose was why? Why did Croatian Wikipedia to succumb, succumb to the sort of systematic disinformation campaign uh, when other language editions in the same uh, language family did not? To answer this question, we conducted 15 interviews with participants who were familiar with the situation on Croatian Wikipedia. They were uh, editors and admins in the local language communities, as well as um, contributors that were involved in global governance issues. This included stewards, as well as uh, foundation staff members dealing with trust and safety. And based on our, a grounded theory analysis of these interviews, we arrived at these three propositions. Um, the first was perceived value. Is the project worth expending the effort to capture? On this, we found that uh, Croatian and Serbian Wikipedia, the two projects that we uh, compared, um, were roughly similar because they had both the sort of uh, editing community where national nationalist narratives would resonate because they were both tied to a particular national identity and they were of a sufficient size um, that they had an audience that would be attractive for any sort of motivated actors um, to target with these sorts of narratives. Um, but the projects then differed on in two respects that made Croatian really vulnerable and Serbian comparatively more resilient. The first was bureaucratic openness. How easy is it uh, for contributors outside the core founding team of users to ascend to these local governance positions on the project, such as becoming an admin? And we found on Serbian Wikipedia, there was a deliberate attempt at the beginning to keep the project open, make it pretty easy for people to ascend to these positions. And that uh, created a relatively diverse um, initial administrative team. Uh, Croatian instead became more and more bureaucratically closed relatively early on, uh, which kind of created this like core group of 
users that had pretty powerful positions on the project um, and also created an environment that was not very transparent bureaucratically. The second um, dimension on which these two projects differed was institutional formalization. To what degree did the project preference personalistic, informal forms of organization over formal ones? So through our interviews, we found that uh, Croatian Wikipedia, a lot of the actual governance discussions and work was done off wiki in a very non-transparent fashion. And the primary way that people on the project ascended to these sorts of um, governance positions and that decisions were made about um, governance was through these personalistic, informal forms of organization rather than more formal ones, such as uh, rules about um, admin power and rules about when users can block and when they can't, uh, particularly admins. Um, so we synthesize these propositions into a conceptual model of risk that represents um, the varying levels of vulnerability that various Wikipedia communities have to capture along these different institutional configurations. Um, so according to this, um, the projects that are actually uh, most vulnerable to the kind of capture that we saw in Croatian Wikipedia are projects that have a really insular bureaucracy and have um, personalistic institutions and are relatively high value. So particularly ones that are, for example, tied to a national identity. Some quotes from our participants. Um, Croatian Wikipedia, uh, a few participants described the system of governance on Croatian Wikipedia as very much like feudalism. One uh, uh, former editor on the project said, we have admins who behave like medieval lords and we are basically serfs. Um, Serbian Wikipedia editors on that project uh, described it rather differently. Uh, they explained that uh, Serbian Wikipedia was is a bit larger, the editing community is a bit larger than Croatian Wikipedia, but they also have um, a little bit more diversity and polarization among different factions, and there's not really any faction that really had ever gained an upper hand over the other. So uh, power on Serbian Wikipedia um, is, was much more uh, balanced than on Croatian. So what does this all mean for the over 300 language editions on Wikipedia? Well, the goal here is not to design power out of these socio-technical systems. I really like this quote by James Grimmelman, for example, that highlights that doing so is actually impossible. He wrote, there is no way to redesign the technologies of social software so that technical power disappears. Uh, for the reason that it is the social power that gives the technical power its bite. But um, this study shows that both social and technical power can be checked, not necessarily by particular technical design choices, but by these certain governance arrangements. Um, and so a lot of focus on, there's a lot of focus within the Wikimedia Foundation, as well as um, social media companies and other online communities on developing automated tools to help deter things like vandalism or fix uh, disinformation issues. Um, but these tools are rather limited in that they don't address uh, these more fundamental challenges to knowledge integrity um, that are rooted in um, the, that attack the very governance of these systems or rather their mechanisms of self-governance. So more deliberate attention is needed to foster government governance arrangements on these projects that support uh, more democratic participation and decision-making. Uh, so future work in this for this project is going to involve um, conducting a quantitative study that empirically tests um, hypotheses derived from our three propositions across um, uh, the hundreds of language editions uh, 
on Wikipedia.